Number one, the hero from Amberglade. This is the first etude in the book. It's relatively self-explanatory. I just want to take you through a couple things in it that might help you get started with this material. So I'm going to screen share now. And here we have the viola noble version of the hero from Amberglade. At the beginning of every etude, you'll notice these small notes. That is the cue for the track. So if I play the track, tells you when to come in. Every etude has that little cue. Um, what I like to think about in all of the etudes, and this one in particular, is that uh, the, the expression with which you play should sort of match the scene, in my opinion. So there is a story element. It's just setting the scene. It's a town in the woods. Um, and you are you feel like a hero. You feel like you want to be bold and adventurous. So that is the mood of the music. How can you express that in your sound? That is, that is the learning. That is the expression. That is the exploration of your instrument and this etude. Um, it's relatively, uh, there's really no retards or tempo changes, so you can just keep on playing right along. And I will say that there are no fingerings um, in really any of the etudes and some bowings, but um, they're used sparingly. So I will say that any and all expression, which includes, in my opinion, articulation, dynamics, bowings, and fingerings are up to you. They are in the end up to you. You can approach this like a brand new piece of music. Uh, sometimes I mark things like, for example, down here in bar 47, it's a whole bar of quarter notes. I've slurred that with four, but if you want to do separate for some reason, or you want to slur two bars, you go right ahead. Again, this is your story. Lastly, for this video, I'll show you the differences between the Noble and the Legend difficulty modes. Right now, we're looking at the Noble. Very few fast notes. It's all pretty much in first position. Even on the second page where it goes a little faster, um, it's still basically in uh, first position or third position. So I would equate this to maybe roughly Suzuki Book 5. Some of the etudes later are more difficult and some are less difficult. If we scroll to the legend difficulty, the much harder version, um, you can see there's many more faster notes. It goes up much higher. And um, especially on the second page, it, it is quite challenging. Uh, this one is not exactly at a concerto level, but a lot of the legend etudes are at a concerto level. So that is uh, the difference between noble and legend, and that difference continues throughout in some way. So I'm going to uh, stop the screen share, and thanks for watching. Again, questions, email me at nick at nickravel.com.